everyone, it's Miss Amber and welcome to the Grundy Library's Code Club. April is National Poetry Month, so to celebrate we're going to be doing a coding exercise called Poem Art. Now to start this exercise, I would recommend watching this video where you'll learn all about Kaya who is a computer scientist and a poet. There is video and then there's a notes version where she'll tell you a lot about poetry and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to jump right into our tutorial. To start, I'm going to be clicking this drop down arrow and selecting a poem from the list. So I'm going to read through the different poems and see which one I really like and we're going to be animating this poem based on its mood and the emotions that it makes you feel. So there's a lot I really really like but I'm going to be starting with a poem that I have always really loved called Winkin' Blinkin' and Nod by Eugene Field. I really like that poem. So I'm going to think about how it makes me feel and I'm going to start by setting a font that I think goes along with it. So right now it's set in times, but I'm going to click the drop down arrow and look at the different fonts and I think handwriting really goes well with this one. So that's what I'm going to pick. Next I'm going to select my text color. So for this one, it takes place at night, so I think I want something kind of dark. I really like this dark blue color. I really like this darkish purple color. Or I could just do black. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick this dark blue color. I really like that. Now there's a couple different background options that you can choose. I'm going to select this one today. And that actually looks kind of cool for this poem. But I'm going to click through. That one doesn't go. That's a cool background, but it doesn't go with this poem. Oh, this one looks pretty. I kind of like that. Hmm, let me check out a couple more. Oh, that's really pretty, but I don't think you can see my font, so I'm going to go back and try to fix my font. Oh, I like that a lot. This really matches the mood of the poem and the emotions that it makes me feel. So I'm going to click Run because I am ready. That looks really good. I really like it. Perfect. To me, that matches the poem and I really am happy with it. So I'm going to hit continue. If you want, you can do keep playing if you want to reanimate the poem or if you want to animate a different one. As you go along, each step will give you different exercises that combine poetry and coding. This next one is a prediction exercise where it asks you to read the poem and think about what sounds and images come to mind. After you type your answer, you can press run to watch and listen to the poem's animation. And this is another great poem called Sing by Rumi. So I hope you guys have a really fun time reading through these different poems and coding along to them. And I will see you at our next Grundy Library Code Club. Bye!